Hello everyone and welcome back to my channel and this time around we are returning to a series that hasn't happened in a long long time Korea tutorials or teaching how to or whatever it was called I actually never gave it a proper name um, I was asked a long time ago I think ever since I started doing uh, custom content wallpapers and whatever not to uh, give a little bit of a guide how to do those because apparently and yes I agree some of the guides are relatively out of date to the updates to Sims 4 Studio. So you need to go and download Sims 4 Studio. I will put the link down below and I'm gonna cancel this. So this is the uh, first window you will be coming up with and this is the 3137 version of Sims 4 Studio. Uh, you want to put your creator name down and mine is obviously Ashuria which shows also my <laughs> other projects that I have here my apologies um, you want to go with a build standalone recolor we are going to be doing a, a seamless wallpaper that I just showed here this is a seamless wallpaper and because of the wall heights it will be showing mine is also in Finnish I'm so sorry so short medium and tall and some of the uh, pro program actually is in English so this is very confusing I never thought of that it was very clear to me but yeah so short medium tall and for this we have three different heights that we need for Photoshop or GIMP or whatever other options you have you you have many many options to or whatever photo editor you want to use but it must be able to save in DDS D3D DDS this must be the one that you want to use and that is the file that it will the Sims for Studio will understand read the three wall heights are 256 pixels by 768 which is this one then we will need 256 by 1024 and always in pixels and 256 by 1280 pixels so this is our tall wall this is our medium wall and this is our short wall and I have already something on here which is also confusing Let's, so when you're creating a new file you want you get this random window with the custom heights and whatever. I have it ready here, 256, 768. So here is our short wall. Now, next step is to find a seamless pattern. And I use a free pick because it has a free option here, license free in the filters options. And um, you can also put sort by popular, recent, uh, whatever choose some colors that you want or whatever the only things i usually pick is free where and sometimes i even post uh, choose from recent or just what has been the most popular in the website recently you can also go into google and search for seamless pattern go into the pictures and always look for a square that is uh, same length and height from all the well that's almost a 626 by 625 from all the size this is basically impossible to work with it's absolute horrid so don't do that pain for yourself try to look for anything that is actually a square and is seamless looking so for example in here you look at this edge there's a leaf here and then there's another leaf over here so that should be a seamless picture right there okay but i'm gonna be picking up this one it has a very nice uh, pattern to it and it's very clear pattern so we can just save the picture as it's gonna be jpeg i think that's gonna be fine and then i'm just gonna put it into the downloads i don't even want to rename it because it doesn't matter to me this is just an example 
Then we want to go to Photoshop. We are going to want to drag this into here. And now we have this pattern over here. We are going to be unlocking it. We are going to be resizing it. 256 pixels by 256 pixels. And now it looks really, really teeny tiny. And then we want to filter other offset plus 128. And we actually, this is a very good example. We thought this was a seamless, but obviously it's not. It has some issue here. So we need to go and find another picture. This wasn't a good, good picture. Okay, I have another one that we can try. We can try this one. So size it again, 256, 256. And then we are going to be filtering it and offsetting it and OK. And we can see that this is actually just a perfectly fine. I wonder if I can just auto contrast it a little bit better so we can see the flower a little bit better. So now you can see that there's no that line in between here that was with the other picture. So this is perfect for doing the wallpaper. And now we need to go to edit. You want to choose define pattern and just rename it whatever you want. I'm just usually spamming numbers. I don't give them any names or whatever. Then we can close this one. I don't need to save it. Remember now to go the same for studio, you want to go to build, standalone free color, and we want a wall. If you want a certain wall from certain back, that's fine, but I usually just pick the very first Martian soil, and it is a base game, so that's the most perfect option ever for anyone who is uh, gonna be downloading your CC walls or whatever, so there's no expansion pack limitations or anything like that. Now you can name it something. So I'm just going to put tutorial wallpaper. There we go. And it's going to be saving it as a Sims 4 package, which is exactly what we want. So now we have this gorgeous brown paper right here. Here you want to be renaming it whatever you want to name it and then you want to do a description i put usually my name the program that i have used to do the wallpaper which is the sims for studio and my name and then of course if you want to support me i put patreon and i put youtube and whatever links whatever else and then you can put the price of that wallpaper which can be whatever you choose doesn't matter here is swatches and whatever else, but we don't need to do anything with these yet. But however, we do need the texture. So short, medium and tall. And this is why we have these three in the Photoshop. Okay. In Photoshop, once you have defined the pattern, you go and unlock the picture. Double click on the layer. You have pattern overlay. And I have a ton of textures here, so ignore that. But this is the newest one. And this is the one that we have chosen to create today. And it shows that it is still seamless. There's no texture issues or whatever on it. You can use, uh, change the scale. Um, but I don't, rem I don't remember if it was 50, 100, 200 were fine. 75, not okay. So I'm not sure if the 50 was okay either. But 100, definitely absolutely perfect and opacity if you want it to be kind of like faded away you can do that but i'm just gonna leave it at 100 because it doesn't you know why would you want faded wallpaper if you want old looking you can make it different way you can just edit the image different ways so now we want to flatten the image we want to size it again so it will be 256 times 512 pictures and this is the short wall short wall 256 times 512 pixels okay then we go here we are going to be doing the pattern overlay again and because i had another file open already it has pulled up that same pattern in the same size already there we go and then we are going to be image sizing again 256 times 512. This is a medium wall. Then we are going to go to the door wall, double clicking it, 
pattern overlay. It's over there ready. Good job. Image size. Now this tall wall is the different one. So we want 1024 for this. So 256 times 1024. There we go. And it looks a little squished and odd, but it'll look just fine in game, okay? And we can flatten it actually now. So now we want to hit save. Uh, I'm using shortcuts. That was a control shift S and it'll pull this up and we're going to be putting it in here and we can call it a doll one. And we want to save it as a exactly this file type. Then we will want DXT5 and generating MIP maps. Then we want the medium wall, medium wall one, and it offered the DS for me again. And DXT5, everything is fine here, nothing was changed. And then door one and DDS again, and same thing again. Now they should be found in your whatever file you are pulling them into and they are here in my downloads folders and then you can move to sims for studio now you want to import the right picture into the right spot here so short import short one medium obviously medium one and a tall one into a tall one here it is a seamless wallpaper Ta -da, in the program now you can do the swatch thumbnail colors and whatever so you can go back to your uh, photoshop or whatever you're using and you can press an i and you can grab the green color that it is copy that copy paste this ctrl c you can press over here and paste it over here so it's a white and green one Perfectly fine. Uh, the thumbnail will be updated automatically. You don't need to do anything about it nowadays. Back in the day, you could do, well, you had to go and do them manually, but you don't need to do it anymore unless you have want to. I can't help you if you want to do it, so you just need to figure it out by yourself or with the old guide for that. But yeah, tags. Uh, it is not a, a dark brown. We have a white and green so you need to choose your colors also the pattern if it's a panel or if it's a wallpaper or paint or whatever so you can choose that then there is a gameplay effects nowadays for wallpapers you can do like a eco footprint minus one or whatever else if you so wish and remember the name description price and now we can just save it there we go now we can go and start up the game after you have pulled this file this package file into your sims4 mod folder there we go it's now here and now we can start up the sims when you load up the sims it usually pushes you through this window first that shows that what kind of a mod you have in your game and if you uh, are okay to accept them all. Um, Maxis does not indeed uh, support the mods. They are completely up to us. And I always have it show up in the startup menu because I want to be aware if I have mods in my game or not. So I have it in there just in case. Then we can just load up any save file that you have in handy. Now I have pulled up a random save file and a house. It's not a big deal really as long as you just can go and test it out this will do just fine for me so i wonder if there's enough light here i guess so then we can go into wall patterns we made it into a wallpaper and here <laughs> i have many many cc so you can filter it out by a uh, custom content over here so it just lists everything that i have in my game but this is the tutorial wallpaper and by pressing alt I can pre uh, paint just one wall at a time. I can actually delete that wall uh, lamp completely and 
There we go. We have a wallpaper. Seamless wallpaper. And indeed, you can still do a whole room by pressing shift and doing the whole room if you want the whole room to have the whatever type of wallpaper that you wanted to create. Just remember the pattern has to be seamless and some of them, even though they say that they are seamless, they are not. Here is the website once more. Free pick. This is what I use. I find a lot of handy handy dandy uh, art and stuff in here. And then you needed any kind of a Photoshop or whatever alternative you are using. And then of course the Sims First Studio. And then remember where your Sim4 mod folder is and where your uh, package and the other stuff goes. Keep everything always up to date. Don't just fill your computer with random crap because that's just cluttering it and you will suffer later. So, thank you for joining me today. I hope this um, showed a little bit how it's done nowadays. It's not actually that difficult at all. Some people behave like it's some magic, but it really isn't. It's very, very simple. You can do exactly as many and as beautiful wallpapers as you want for your own game. Or share as long as you can find the seamless patterns. So happy simming everyone. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.